I'm just like, wow, this is amazing. And let me explain why. What's going on fam? Eric Ellis here with wolvesacademy.com and in this video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create Facebook ads like millionaire marketers. So let's get right into the business. Let's step behind the laptop. Boom, we're behind the laptop. Now, if you guys look here, this is like my little vault here. Basically, every time I'm scrolling on my Facebook news feed and I'm looking at cat videos and so on and so forth, usually that's not what I'm looking at, but basically I'm on there because I like to scroll and to see what type of ads show up on my timeline. Now, depending on the type of ads you engage with frequently is what Facebook is gonna go ahead and continue to actually display in front of you. So with that being said, because I'm an internet marketer and I engage with those type of uh, content, I stumble across winning millionaire ads all, this, all the time, right? Now, I wanted to show this ad specifically because this is the method that I teach, right? Now, there's people like, for example, Read Like a CEO, Alex, uh, Dr. Alex, and um, Ty Lopez. There's Dean Graziosi, Ty Lopez. You'll notice, right? Kevin David, uh, Anthony Morrison. I'm always modeling successful people. But I stumbled across this, not this ad. I don't know what the heck just happened. This ad right here. And when I say they executed this process to a T that I teach, oh my freaking goodness, right? So I'm going to go ahead and actually break down every single thing that they did great so that way you can actually model the success of other successful marketers, right? So let's go ahead and actually show you guys this step-by-step -step process, right? So first and foremost, um, I do affiliate marketing. So uh, because I do affiliate marketing, and this product uh, that the, the person is actually marketing is not an affiliate product, but you use the same exact thing that you use. Uh, the, the same way that you would uh, promote an affiliate product is the same way that these people are promoting their product. I'm going to go ahead and actually show you guys. So the first thing, right, is the traffic. These are the people. These are the traffic. This is called like the simple affiliate funnel. Now, what you do is you, you use some bait. So if you're ever fishing, you're going to go ahead and give them bait. You're going to go ahead and give them a worm. You're going to give them bread. You're going to give them corn. Whatever your bait is, a lure, to go ahead and get them to actually bite the bait, right? And in the internet marketing terms, the bait that you would give them is called a lead magnet. So a lead magnet is a free thing. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and put the right lead magnet, the right free thing in front of the right people, right? So you want to go ahead and get the right audience, right? What is the product that you're selling? Your product should be something that solves a problem, right? Now, with that being said, who is your dream customer? The people who are trying to look for that solution. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and kinda uh, dangle this bait in front of them to get them through your sales funnel and then sell them something on the back end, right? So for example, let's just say, uh, my uh, audience, or excuse me, the product that I'm selling, let me actually reverse engineer. So let's just say the product that I'm selling is a weight loss program, right? What I might do is I might give them some sort of free PDF or free report showing them three ways that they can go to lose weight, right? Cool. So at that point, once I give them that free thing, they're going to go ahead and become a lead. Then the next step, if you notice here, guys, is the bridge page or the or the thank you page or the pre-sale page. They all mean the same thing, but the reason why it's called a bridge page is because it's the bridge between your landing page and your affiliate offers, the thing that connects them together. So what you're gonna be doing is letting them know, hey, your free thing is on its way. While you wait, check this out. And then you're gonna redirect them to an affiliate offer that is congruent with that free thing that you gave them, right? So why is it important to actually get that email? Number one, so that way you can deliver that free thing within your welcome email. Number two, so that way you can actually follow up with these people with email marketing and you can increase your return on your investment because not everybody, eight out of 10 people are not gonna go out and buy the first time, the first go around. So with that being said, uh, because I have that email, now that lead, I'm gonna be able to remarket to them aggressively to get them to buy my product. So this exact process, I went through the whole process because I'm always studying marketers. I'm always looking at ads, seeing what their funnels look like, so on and so forth. I'm going to break down everything that this person did right, right? This is literally a case study campaign or whatever that they executed this 
perfectly, right? So first and foremost, who was their target? Who was their target audience, right? Their target audience was me, right? They showed up on my Facebook feed, right? Now, who am I? Let's see if they did a good job targeting, right? I'm gonna go ahead and read the ad and then we're gonna go ahead and see if they did a good job targeting. So the first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and break down of what they did right within this ad is they followed the hook story offer method. Talk to me by um, Russell Brunson, Dean Graziosi, I was at Funnel Hackers Live, right? Hook story offer, that's how you write ad copy. So what is their hook? 99% of Facebook advertisers are targeting the exact same interest based audiences and they're paying the price. That is a hook, that is a bold statement. 99% of Facebook advertisers. So who is his target audience? Facebook advertisers, he literally has it in the hook. So am I somebody, guys, obviously if I'm teaching Facebook advertising, I fall within that category. So he caught my attention. I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. If you're losing weight and somebody identifies you, like in one of my recent ads, I, I put affiliate marketers, uh, I put that in my hook, and I know people who, who do affiliate marketing, they're scrolling, they're like, oh, affiliate marketers, oh, boom. Click through rate, right? You capture somebody's attention. That's what the hook is about. You capture your target audience's attention. So two things that he did, three things that he did right, right? The first thing that he did right is he got it in front of the right audience. How do I know? Because I'm a Facebook advertiser, so if he got that ad in front of me, then I'm obviously the right the right person. Number two, second thing that he did right is um, he had a uh, he had a hook, right? He had a hook, so his hook was basically um, a, a pretty strong hook, right, to capture my attention. And third is he actually identified his target audience within his ad copy. Now let's keep on reading. I was one of them, right? So this is him actually relating until I discovered something crazy. So until I discover something crazy, that's basically if anybody's struggling with Facebook ads, this is like the epiphany, right? The epiphany of discovering something. He said, I read, I read Facebook's developer documentation. So he's basically telling a story, hook story offer. This is his story. Hook, 99% of Facebook advertisers are targeting the exact same interest-based audiences and they're paying the price. Story, he's telling his story about how he discovered this thing that he's basically about to sell you, right? Now, obviously, as a, as a marketer, I can pick this thing apart, but as a consumer, right, I'm not really going to be able to pick this apart, and I still actually almost bought this product, and I probably will anyways. So until I discover something crazy, I read Facebook's developer documentation, and what I found in there blew my mind. I discovered that there are many more interests in Facebook API compared to Facebook Ads Manager, hidden from most advertisers. So basically, it's like a secret. People like discovering things. People like a secret. This is really good copy. So he's talking about discovering something that nobody else has access to. So it's exclusive. Ex, I I hate saying that word. Ex, exclusivity. There we go. Right. So basically, feeling exclusive. Right. Not everybody has access to this. Only Facebook developers have access to this. Right. It's kind of like this hidden secret. Like, oh no, I want access to that because this one thing. Right. The one thing that you're selling. The one thing is going to go ahead and improve my advertising. Guys, obviously, it's not that, but he's doing what he needs to do to sell his product. So after that, it only increased further. All these years, I thought I knew that I was doing, but I was but I was struggling because I did it all wrong. So guys, not only is he uh, targeting Facebook advertisers, guys, Facebook advertisers who are crushing it aren't even worried about this, right? Now, I stumbled across it because I'm always studying marketers, right? But the thing was, is that he's targeting people who are struggling with Facebook ads, which is 99%. So he put a great figure. 99% of Facebook ads or people who do Facebook ads are struggling. If you're watching this, you might be struggling with Facebook ads, right? This, if you came across this, you'd be like, oh, I need this, right? So, um, and I'm sure 99% of you do. So he, he brought that back in your face. So, but let's be clear. That's not, that's not our fault. So this is a common marketer thing, guys. A common marketer thing is to, is, you don't want to go ahead and blame the actual uh, reader, right? It, it it builds like trust, right? For example, you talk about if I'm marketing to people who are trying to lose weight, I'm going to say, I'm going to place the blame on somebody else, right? That's what you want to do. You need, a, you need an enemy. What happens is if me and you have a common enemy, what does that make us? That makes us friends. When we're friends, you trust me. When you trust me, you're more likely to buy something from somebody you know, like, and trust. 
So the way that you can go ahead and actually build trust with people is by creating a common enemy. So for example, ClickFunnels, for those of you who know who ClickFunnels is, who's the common enemy? We're against the websites. Me and you, we're against the websites. Or if we're talking about um, a weight loss products, a uh, lady or middle-aged woman, you being fat is not your fault, right? It is the dietitians and the, and the marketers and the doctors and the pharmaceutical companies. They're selling you these products that aren't gonna go ahead and help you. They are the enemy, right? The fact that we're uh, having a common enemy is gonna go ahead and bring us on the same side, which makes you trust me. You're more likely to actually buy my products, right? So um, basically, uh, they, right? They, this is the common enemy, right? They're basically getting you on their, uh, you guys, you get what I'm saying, right? They're basically building tr building trust here. They're trying to get you on their side. So they want us to target broad audiences. They want us to target the same audiences. More reach plus more competition equals more revenue, more ad revenue. So who, who is he talking about? He's talking about Facebook. I don't know how the hell this is if this is working what i mean by that is usually when you put facebook as the enemy they usually kind of like dilute your ads and stuff right when you say negative things but he kind of says it indirectly if he was to say facebook he probably get in a little bit he won't get in trouble but they're not going to promote you like bashing them but the fact that he says they you kind of can't understand it but me reading this i understand he's talking about facebook facebook is the enemy right so basically what he's saying is is that uh, they want you to target about audiences. They want you to target the same audiences. More reach equals more competition, which is real, right? Meaning if you're, everybody's targeting the same people, it increases the bid cost. The higher the bid cost, the higher advertisers are spending, meaning we get the short end of the stick. So me being an advertiser, I understand what he's talking about. So it's, he's like preaching to the choir. So understanding your audience's problems and what they're facing, right? This is what, this is what he's doing right. And guys, this isn't even the genius part. The whole campaign is just amazing right so more reach plus more competition equals more revenue is that it's designed like this insert evil laugh <laughs> insane right facebook hides interest so he's basically making them the enemy so he's he's like yeah right so what's the solution how do we go ahead and fight them together by buying their product right so and they don't explain the millions of advertisers on the platform how they should actually use interest-based targeting so 99 percent of the people is doing it wrong now the reason why i keep on saying 99 percent he wants to stick that in your head meaning you're a part of that 99 percent who does not have access to this exclusivity he wants you to be like oh how do i get in the one percent right so and they're praying and they're paying a high price for it i created a training and complimentary cheat sheet so guys the training is a sales video the cheat sheet is the lead magnet right so um where are we I, lo I lost it so facebook has interest ping high. so i created a training and complimentary uh, cheat sheet to show you exactly what i discovered so you can fix your targeting today right so you can fix your problem the he's literally making the first front end of the funnel right so he's not selling you the product guy. he's not selling the he doesn't even tell you what that the product that he's selling on the back end is i'm going to show you guys what it is but he's not selling you the product. He's literally showing you that the lead magnet is the solution. If you want to solve this problem that you're having here, take this free thing. So more reciprocity. Oh, oh my gosh. Not only did you discover the solution, but you're also going to go ahead and give me something for free. That'll go ahead and help me solve that problem. Golly gee, you're such a nice guy, right? No, he's just a genius marketer. So what he's doing is he's giving reciprocity. He's giving me that free thing. Guys, you do not sell your product on the front end, right? You don't talk about what the product is. You don't even talk about what the lead. He doesn't even talk about what the lead magnet is. He literally just says a free training and a free cheat sheet. So guys, it's curiosity. He doesn't give me everything. What happens is, is that he scratches my curiosity button. If I don't go to the next step in the process, which is add landing page, bridge page, affiliate offer but in this case it's his actual product and i'm going to show you guys what it is this is the software but i have to go to the next step so you'll reach better and then he talks about benefits right he talks about benefits if you basically if you claim this lead magnet you're going to go ahead and get this right so first he talks about you fix your problem next is by having access to data most others can't find you'll avoid most competition and enjoy an unfair advantage who doesn't want an unfair advantage who doesn't want to avoid competition, right? He's basically selling you based off your wants, dreams, and desires. 
So guys, this goes for any niche. I just so happen to be his target audience and the, the target for what he's actually selling. So your reach better audiences pay less and get better return on ad spend. That's the dream. So if, if I was doing weight loss, I'll talk about you, you, you wouldn't have to uh, do those crazy diets anymore, take those dangerous pills, so on and so forth, and you'll be able to lose weight much quicker without working as hard, blah, 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 blah. I'm selling off of their wants, dreams, and desires. So amazing freaking copy. Interested to learn my strategies? Boom. He has his call to action, a clear, clear call to action. The call to action is the freaking little finger. So I'm going to go ahead and go, but first I'm going to go ahead and actually read this, right? Here's what some people said about it. Now guys, what this is called, right? After he gives the call to action, if you decide, you know what, these, this, what, oh gosh, genius guys, what he did, and this isn't even the freaking video, right? This isn't even the video. Um, what I might do is I might go ahead and actually download the ad. I can download the ad. And if you guys stick to the, this is what I'll do. I promise you I'll do this. If you stick to the very end of this video, I will go ahead and actually play this ad for you. So I'm going to go ahead and actually swipe this video. I don't know how legal or illegal that is. I don't give a shit. I'm going to swipe this at this the video. So that way you can actually see the video, uh, his video copy as well. So with that being said, um, the next thing that he did guys, for those people who are on the fence, they're about to click the link and be like, now nah, I'm about to leave. He gives social proof, proof that what he's offering works. So here's what some people said about it. I divided my lease cost by three in just a few hours. I use, and guys, in just a few hours, basically getting way better results very quickly. That's what people want, right? So this is gonna go ahead and increase their belief system. I use Facebook ads for two years now and I got the lowest cost ever, right? That's people's dream. I cloned one optimized campaign, updated my target audience with these new interests, and it's running now at 20% lower CPLs, right? Cost per lease. So lowering your cost per lease by 20%. So yes, this works. First, I thought of selling this information as premium product because no one is sharing this, so I could easily charge high price for this. Maybe later for now, or at least uh, it's free, right? Grab the cheat sheet. Um, okay, that's what he was saying. So basically he's saying he thought about uh, selling the product. So this is another thing, perceived value. He's talking about he could easily sell this for a thousand dollars, but he's giving it away for free. So it's, it's like, it's like the people are drooling like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to get this for free. Okay. Now that we have that amazing freaking ad copy on top of this amazing video. So I'm not even going to go ahead and, uh, I'll, I'll play the video at the end. But if you notice, look, talk about a hook, talk about a capturing image guys, look what happens. As soon as you see this video, there's a laptop that opens and then there's this code, this code, this code thing that looks like the freaking matrix. This caught my attention, right? Laptop opens and then this freaking thing goes down. Guys, that's a freaking hook. And then the ad copy starts going, the video ad copy, like the person, the voiceover. Guys, what a hook, right? Capturing people's attention. I'll play the video at the end of this. It's a three minute video. Now, how do I know that this video is working? 1.2 thousand likes, right? He's going to scale the shit out of this. Now, that's just the ad part. The genius part is not the ad, guys. You could have an amazing freaking ad, but if your back end sucks, it doesn't matter. If your funnel sucks, it doesn't matter. So let's look at this whole process. So now we talk about the landing page. Now, guys, this image right, this image right here is congruent. Let me go back here. Let me show you this with the ad the ad has his face on it he's wearing the same shirt the landing page has him in the same shirt pointing at the free pdf that he was just talking about 99 percent of facebook advertisers are targeting the same exact interest let's go back to the ad 99 percent of facebook advertisers are tar targeting the same exact interest congruence so many people, they'll have the landing page says this, but then the ad says this. It doesn't make sense, right? Congruence, guys. Congruence, congruence, congruence. What happens is you know that like you got to the right place. 99%, right? 99%. Okay, there's the big problem. Then he has the same image that he had in his freaking video. And then he has the actual PDF, the thing that you're looking for. I'm pretty sure this landing page converts like crazy. Super simple, not complicated. It's just congruent. So... Next is we're going to go ahead and do bill at gmail.com. Get access now. And 
check this out. Let's go back to this free thing, right? So audience, I was the target audience for, uh, and then he sent me from the Facebook ad to the free thing, right? He just got my email. So now, which I'm going to go to and actually show you guys the welcome email because I actually did opt into this, but he got my email. Now he's going to be able to email market to me now bridge page. Um, what is it? Bridge page. And believe it or not, guys, not to be funny or anything, but I've, I've gone through marketers funnels before just to study them and end up buying their product, right? That's literally what almost happened to me. Um, I didn't have my credit card. I was about to buy his product just to see like how, if his product is actually good because I'm his target audience, but that's how, that's where, that's when you know it's a really good process, right? So if we look here, let's go back to the actual process, right? Squeeze page, nailed it. Uh, first, first off, no, target audience, nailed it. Hook, nailed it. Ad copy, nailed it. Video advert creative, nailed it. Landing page, nailed it. Now let's talk about the bridge page. We're on the bridge page. So one more thing, right? So what I like to do sometimes is before you wait or whatever, whatever, basically while you wait, while you wait, dot, 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 while you wait for that to, for that PDF to get to your inbox, check this out, right? So basically the PDF will arrive in your inbox in 10 minutes, right? So what I usually say is, Hey, the, the, the free lead magnet, whatever the free thing is, is, is on your way to your inbox. But while you wait for that to actually hit your inbox, check out this video down below. And then the video is basically going to go ahead. It's 200 is two minutes and 12, uh, whatever is basically going to be the bridge content redirecting you to the sales process. So I will show you three simple steps to reveal thousands of hidden Facebook interests others can't find, but there's even more Facebook hidden data. So you watch the two minute video and then you redirect to the affiliate offer as an affiliate. Now guys, this works with selling your own products, software products, uh, affiliate products. It doesn't matter guys. Marketing is marketing. The only difference about affiliate marketing is that you're just selling somebody else's product. So imagine if I was doing the same thing, selling his software, if this is using, if this campaign is working for him, this would work for me as an affiliate, right? So an affiliate offer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and actually redirect them to my affiliate offer. In this case, he's not an affiliate. So there's the video, two minute video guys on your bridge pages, make sure that the bridge page is not a video sales letter. You want the bridge page to be less than three minutes. So, because the whole goal is to have a high click through rate to your actual sales video, the thing selling the product. So the whole goal is to basically let them know on the bridge page. Hey, your free thing is on its way. Why you wait? Check this out. Redirect. Boom. Learn more. Now this is the actual sales video. This Facebook interest software, right? So guys, let's, let's go back here. Video 99% of audience. So what is, what is, what is the problem? The problem that he is solving with his product, his software product is interest targeting. So who's his target audience struggling Facebook advertisers who is struggling Facebook advertisers, 99% of people running Facebook ads. So great copy. Now, uh, he's getting sold. It's pre-sold. Then he gets you the free lead magnet, right? He has a common enemy, which is Facebook secrets that they don't want to teach you. The diet, the doctors and the dietitians don't want you to know this weight loss transformation formula, whatever, right? You get the free lead magnet. You go to that landing page. Let me actually, let me do this for you guys. So you guys have a visual representation of this three-step funnel. So step number one. So look, let me show you guys three step funnel. One, two, three. Step number one, take a screenshot of this on your, if you're watching this on your phone or your laptop, take a screenshot of this landing page, take a screenshot of the thank you page, take a screenshot of the cell or, or of the video sales letter, the VSL. This is the VSL. So guys, basically he's selling a software, right audience, right hook, right copy, right video right landing page, right uh, thank you page. Now guys, I don't know if he's a millionaire marketer or not. I just said that. But guys, based off of how amazing this campaign is, I wouldn't doubt it if this guy is an, a millionaire marketer. Like watching the actual video, watching the actual sales process and how they execute this campaign, they're definitely a seven figure marketer. So the first thing that I wanna go ahead and uh, tell you guys, not just about well, well, the landing page. Now, if you're promoting affiliate offers, you have no control of the actual uh, v VSL, right? But 
these are some things that you should be looking on BSLs if you're promoting a product as an affiliate, right? Some of the things that he has on his page, I'm gonna show you some things that will show you whether it's a winning offer or not. But now the most important piece on this whole thing is the actual video content. But aside from that, these are some winning things. So basically this Facebook uh, interest software enabled me to build a cold traffic machine that banks set, uh, seven dollars for every one dollar spent so basically anybody who know, knows marketing knows that a 7x return on investment is ridiculous so that's my ending one streams goals and desires right whatever their ending one streams goals and desires that should be in the headline and then also there's curiosity you know it's the software but what is the software what does the software do it doesn't tell you the software or whatever yes it says interest explore up here but you guys get it right second thing before you even watch the video, there is social proof. Dominic Pyramid, best thing I've uh, seen in the marketing world this year, bought instantly, thanks for this, right? Social proof. Next is, uh, this is just like sales copy, sales copy, sales copy, sales copy. Then he has social proof, proof that the product works. So he's actually showing you guys. Guys, if I'm not if, if I'm not his target audience, when I, when I see these actual, uh, things I'm not even gonna know what the freak these are, but I know exactly what this is, right? And I'm looking at the return on ad spend. I'm looking at the return on ad spend. I'm getting sold. I'm getting sold. Then he has more. He has Havis, Remax, Greenpage, Comcast. Then he has more testimonials from students. Got social proof like a mother effort. And then there's 99% uh, of advertisers face these problems. So he's identifying problems that his target audience is having. So. Everyone is targeting the same interest. Ad costs only keep rising. Testing is an expensive process. Bad targeting will cost you. And then he talks about, but when you have this, it's gonna make this easier, right? And then more social proof, 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 a video testimonial. What's more real than somebody actually telling you that they're, that, that they're real? And then he has this product, right? So $99, $149, $199. Guys, when I say this was amazing, and let's just say if I go, to, if I was the, I'm not gonna, well, I'll go to the order page just to show you guys what it looks like, but this is the order page, pretty simple order page. He has two testimonials at the bottom, so social proof before you actually make a purchase. He has safe and secure, right? Um, and it's pretty simple, right? Um, and then he has the, the, bullet, uh, the bullet points of what you're gonna go ahead and get. $99, and I'm pretty sure after he actually sells this product, in order to be profitable, he's probably uh, there's probably backing up sales. Now, that's not it. That's not all. But wait, there's more, right? So first and foremost, he killed that freaking campaign. He's gonna scale that. He deserved to make a million dollars. He deserves to make a million dollars because he freaking killed that. Next is let's go ahead and actually look at the um, this, right? Why is it important to get that email so that way you can actually follow up? So day one, I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you guys. Day one. Hi there, thank you for requesting the free PDF, download it here. Guys, he did no selling in this in, in the first email. No selling in the first email, he simply delivered exactly what I requested. Now the benefit of that is that he's not selling me anything, so I trust him. Okay, I asked for a free PDF, so he gave me a free PDF. Okay, cool. Next time he gives me an email, I'm gonna open it again, right? It's, it's leading with value instead of pitch, 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 right? So thank you for requesting the free PDF. My name is Paco. So it's an introductory welcome email. That's basically what this is. My name is Paco. I'm the founder of Interest Explorer, right? So he, he does mention it, but he doesn't have any links to it. He mentions the product, but he doesn't have any links to it. Software that uses Facebook's API to reveal hidden Facebook interests and show campaign statistics the interest level. Now I'm pretty sure, I haven't looked at the actual PDF, but I'm pretty sure in the PDF, there's probably gonna be some sort of link to the actual product. Now, smart Facebook marketers from freelancers to have a blah, 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 blah. Uh, in my free cheat, cheat sheet, you'll find how to use Facebook's marketing API to find interests that are hidden in the Facebook ads manager, how to force Facebook to show your ads to the best segments within audience you are targeting. These techniques get me high return on ad spend. And um, it's not just me, take uh, Kevin for example. So guys, more social proof. Guys, one thing that you'll notice throughout this whole campaign, even in his ad, um, he has social proof. So, and then Paco, guys, no selling, no affiliate link. Obviously it's not an affiliate, no link to the software. Simply give me what I requested, the PDF. 
day number two. Let's see what this email is. So, hi there. Hope you enjoyed the free PDF. So, I don't know if you guys noticed what he did, did there. He said, hope you enjoyed the free PDF. Basically, if I didn't enjoy it or if I didn't open it, now I have the opportunity to click to get access to the lead magnet again. So, he's still delivering his promise. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, right, is he's using emojis in his emails. Now, if I was to go to my email, out of all my emails, he's the only person who has emojis. Guys, emojis increases click-through rate. Why? Because it's color, it pops. You have all this black text in your email, and then you have this one guy putting an emoji, so he stands out. Boom. Experienced marketer increasing the click-through rate. Not the click-through rate. Well, yeah, the click-through rate or the conversion rate. So, uh, second email, day two. Hope you enjoyed your free PDF. You signed up for yesterday. Did you read it already? I've showed you, and then he talks about what he showed you. How to create a Facebook application, how to request your app access token, how to use your marketing API to reveal thousands of hidden Facebook interests, how to layer these interests for the best targeting. Here's what others said about it. So boom, more social proof. Today, I want to share another Facebook uh, API hack with you. The URL we use to training uh, called the API contact, blah, blah, blah. It's called the anti suggestive method. So basically what he's doing is he's giving you another secret, another gem. Right, so basically, this is what happens, guys. When you do email marketing and somebody opens your first email, it's, it's first impression. So if the, the fact that he didn't sell me anything, okay, cool. Let me see what the next email is. The second email that he gave me is not some just regular content about Facebook. No, he's give, he didn't talk about it in the ad. He didn't talk... His ad was super focused on this PDF being the problem to my, my solution. After I got it, he redirected me to the software. Once he redirected me to the software and the actual emails, he did not mention the software ever again, right? The second email, instead of mentioning the software, what he did was he gave me another secret hack. Not just content, no, a secret hack. Like, holy crap, all this guy just wants to do is give me value, right? So he basically writes an article. So you read the article and I'm pretty sure in the actual article, there's going to be called action links to his software. So he's not dumb. He's kind of like, he's giving you access to the software, but he's more focused on you getting that instant trust, getting that instant trust, giving you more value and which in return, you're going to be more likely to actually open his emails in the future, right? So with that being said, amen to this freaking guy millionaire marketer guy right Paco or Pablo or whatever his name was and then step number three he finally makes an offer to his software but but what he does is the fact that he did the free PDF the fact that he did the free um the free article right the third thing because he's your friend now on day number three it's not gonna feel like he's selling you a product it's basically first day is free PDF, second day is free article, teach you a completely different hack, third day is teaching you a software that teaches you another hack. So now you feel like the software is just another hack. You don't feel like he's selling you the product. So it's very slick how he's actually introducing his product, which are going to dramatically increase his conversions because it's not like, okay, I'm just pitching you, selling you something, I just want your money. It's, I'm getting so excited, I'm slapping my glasses off. It's, I want to go ahead and give you value. I want to deliver value and let me prove it to you. So that third day, now guys, this is like, I couldn't have taught something better, right? He's obviously more, uh, a more established marketer than me, but he doesn't teach this stuff. But what he did was, what happens is when you get people to know, like, and trust you, when your uncle tells you about, hey, have you seen the new Avengers movie? Do you think he's trying to sell you to, 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 to get over on you? No, you, it's your uncle. You trust him. If it's your friend, you trust them. So it's a recommendation. They're not selling you something. So now his product on email number three is another hack, which is a recommendation. It's my friend. Paco's just been giving me value. Paco's just been giving me so much value. Now that he's actually making the recommendation, he's my friend now, right? He's not selling me something. Interest Explorer, he's not selling me that. He's recommending another hack. Boom. Increased conversions. Guys, this is what people don't see. People see these Facebook ads and they see these ads with like the, the scaled and all the likes and all that stuff. But the real deal marketers focus on the back end. Once you can get the back end to convert, then you just need to, to marriage it with the perfect front end ad. 
and you're golden, right? So let's actually read this, right? So in the free PDF, so again, he talks about the free PDF. I showed you the two strategies I used to generate insanely high RO, uh, return on ad spend. Strategy number one, and one thing that I like is that he uses a whole bunch of social proof. He uses these, um, these emojis again, right? So he uses emojis. Using Facebook marketing API to reveal hidden interests, you can target, layering these interests to target these best segments with the audience. I also showed you, so guys, I stated before, I told you, he said I also showed you Interest Explorer. So in the free PDF, he has a call to action link. But if you notice, he doesn't give you access to it until he has delivered value. It's the 80-20 rule, 80% value, 20% pitch. So what he did was he gave you guys access to the actual content, I guess you could say, or not the content. Yeah, the content of the PDF, but then he had a call to action link. So that's when he sold you the product. After you read the actual free thing and you got the value first, then he makes an offer. But he sneakily, he doesn't talk, he doesn't say buy this now. He just talks about in there, I showed you Interest Explorer. You can use this to find, so again, another secret hack, genius marketer. Um, you can use this to find hidden Facebook interest without the manual step I showed you. Oh gosh. I didn't even read this. I'm reading this with you guys. Like, I'm just like, I'm just like, wow, this is amazing. And let me explain why. He said, you can use it to find hidden Facebook interest without the manual steps I showed you. Ain't nobody got time for that. So he showed you a method that is better than what you're already doing, but his product is the faster, quicker, and easier solution. So here's your problem, right? Here's your problem. You wanna lose weight. Here's how you lose here's how you lose weight by working out, right? Here's a better solution than what you're currently doing. But if you want to get there way faster without doing this manual process, this manual grueling process that I showed you, I already provided value to you and the value that I provided to you sh shows you this new thing that's going to go to help you do way better than what you're doing. But you know what? Don't even do this one, right? Even though I showed you it's better, buy this. It's gonna help you get there even easier and it's gonna be done for you. Instead of doing the manual method, yes, it's better if you do the manual method, but just get it done for you. Oh, gosh, I'm just salivating over here. I'm freaking drooling on how amazing this campaign is. You can use it, blah, 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 thousands of interest. Next, it can be also, and then guys, again, social proof. That's why this freaking campaign is converting. That's why he's able to scale the ad because it's profitable. And the reason why it's not profitable is because it's an amazing ad. The reason why it's profitable is because it's amazing back-end sales process. So for example, if you have the best product in the world but a shitty salesman, you're not gonna get any sales. The back-end process, the email marketing, the sales process, the sales funnel, the congruence, the social proof, the, the 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 copy that he's using, playing on people's wants, dreams, and desires, playing on people's pain points, things that they're struggling with. He just nailed this out of the park. So with that being said, you know what? I'm just gonna go, I'm not gonna do it as I'm recording, but I'm gonna, he earned my money, right? I'm going to go ahead and buy his product. Whether I even use it, I'm just gonna give him $100 because he gave me so much value as a marketer just studying his content, I'm gonna buy his product. He deserves my money, that's how I feel. Whenever I'm wowed by people's process, I'm like, you deserve my money. You're amazing, right? So with that being said, guys, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, play. I'm going to go ahead and actually play uh, the video so that way you guys can actually see the ad. Um, and then you guys can actually get access to this, this whole campaign from start to finish. So let's go ahead and play the ad right now. This is output from the Facebook Marketing API, and these are hundreds of hidden interests you can target with Facebook ads, without your competition knowing they exist. That's the best thing, obviously. While 99% of Facebook advertisers are targeting the exact same interest, I use these hidden ones and I combine them with another next level strategy I'll show you in this video. It resulted in a 600% return on ad spend, that means $6 out for every $1 I put in targeting just cold traffic. I just pasted this URL in my browser, including the keyword fitness for example, then I hit enter and Facebook returns hundreds of targetable interests related to that topic. But when I go into Facebook Ads Manager and I type in the exact same keyword, I just get a tiny list of suggestions. 
These are all super broad interests. And to make it even worse, Facebook shows the same suggestion to over 6 million advertisers on the platform. What do you think happens when basically everyone is targeting the same interest? More competition results in higher bids and more ad revenue, not for you, but for Facebook. They want us to target broad interest because then there's more impressions to sell. And they want us all to target the same interest because then it drives up the price. But there are many more interests hidden in the Facebook marketing API. Any developer knows how to access this, but most Facebook advertisers are not developers. So I've created this free PDF that shows you how you can use the Facebook marketing API to reveal hidden interests in your niche. It feels a bit like hacking, but it's completely legal. Facebook designed it like this for developers. They even documented how to use it, but again, for developers. Just download the PDF, follow three simple steps, and you too can access thousands of hidden Facebook interests. But that's not all. I also found out that Facebook interest targeting is basically broken, and that Facebook doesn't explain the millions of advertisers on the platform how they should use it. So everyone is doing it wrong. I did, and I'm sure you do too. So I will also show you how I combined these hidden interests with what I call advanced layering to make sure that my ads are only shown to the highest value segments within my audience. And these are the people most likely to be interested and most likely to convert into leads or buyers. My layering strategy is in the PDF as well. Finally, let me show you that this actually works. By targeting these hidden interests and layering them the right way, I was able to run cold traffic Facebook ads with a return on ad spend of over 600%. That's more than $6 out for every $1 I put in. Want to build your own cold traffic machine? Download my PDF now. So that, my friend, is how you create a million dollar Facebook advertisement campaign. Now, as I said it before, I teach affiliate marketing and I can teach you how to execute the same process because you saw the ad, but how about actually creating the ads? How about creating the funnels? How about learning copywriting, persuasion, and how to actually learn this skill set and monetize it? Well, what I want to do is go ahead and click the link down below, first link down below, and you'll get access to a free training that'll show you step by step uh, the solution that'll teach you how to go ahead and walk away from your nine to five, build your dream life. If you're currently working a, a, a job and you don't want to anymore and you want to go ahead and live life on your own terms, there's going to be a free training, right? And in that free training, it's literally going to go ahead and give you the step-by-step -step process to freaking allowing you to learn this skill set so that way you can execute it yourself and live life on your own terms, right? And also, if you guys want to go ahead and get access to another video about affiliate marketing, Facebook ads, so on and so forth, there's going to be a video right here. And with that being said, I appreciate you. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. And as always, Eric Ellis Jr. checking out. Hey, thanks so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, smash that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified every time I drop some new heat. Lastly, if you found yourself thinking, you know, I want this person to be my mentor, click the link in the description right now or go to erichelp.com. That's erichelp.com. Again, thanks for watching.